Hello, welcome to Star Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your own, in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will always straighten your path. So, yeah. Just working on my, keeping myself straight, I guess. Um, okay, so I have been working on a couple of things. Uh, first, we'll do this. Um, I opened it all up, wanted to look. I really like this material. I like this thing. So I got my So What box in. Um, the little bag. This card isn't done um, as well as the others. I, I'm not sure why. Uh, but anyway, it's just not. So all of my all of my pieces just fell on the floor. Um, of course it comes with the thread, the needles, um, and then this is actually a waterproof one. So it's got the I don't know what you call it, the plastic lining. It's not plastic. Uh, but it's cloth. Anyway, this comes with a zipper, and then it's got two cute um, little materials. So it's got the polka dotty, and then it's got this oranges. So I really kind of like it. It is very summery, so I will be making this sometime this week. Um, then for my bundle, and it is, just so you know, this one's called So Ocean Breeze. Okay, so I've got the bundle, I've got the pattern, that stuff. And then for my two extra fabrics, of course, they come with the little um, tags that you handmade, whatever. So I've got dolphins, and I've got anchors. So both are blue. I guess that's why they're saying the ocean. Uh, anyway, so, yep, there's the so what box. Uh, I like everything in it. I'm good with it, you know. So, let's go with the easy part. I have been sewing a lot this week. Um, so, that might be why I have more sewing. Oh, okay. So, I uh, went to Hobby Lobby and got, got in trouble is what I got. So this week, or last week, was 40% off of the uh, fabric at Hobby Lobby. Now y'all know that that happens like every other week, so it's a good thing. Um, but I went and... I had all of my squares done, and I went and found this yellow, which is going with it very nicely. So I have all of the strips, whoops, ow, I poked myself, knocked the computer, this is not good. I have all of the strips done, all seven of them, with the side. So that all I have is the ones that go across the top and in between each row left to do. Um, I have already figured out someplace I have a little square that tells me. Um, so the material that I found the yellow is 45 inches wide. It will take two and then I have some leftovers from cutting these 16 inches and each of those will go on there. So. Um, I'm really liking this. It, it's definitely heavy. So, but I am going to make this one with, I want it to have the, the denser, I don't want poly fill. I want the heavier cotton type batting. Um, my grandmother used to use old wool blankets that, you know, she would have laying around, and that's what she used for hers. 
I don't know that I want to do that, but I might if I have to. I might. Okay, so the other thing that, the other thing is, is that when I was in there, I found some really cute material. And one y'all have seen before, and the other one you haven't. Now, I'm not working with a pattern, and I have this look in my mind, and I haven't gotten it. And I have made it, and then tore it all apart, and I don't know. So I have remnants. Um, so you guys have seen this material before. I used this material um, to make the stuff for my desk set. Okay, so this is my material, one of them, all right, and I'm going for a jumpsuit look, but it being two-pieced, so yeah, that's a waistband that didn't work out, uh, this goes here, I do have scraps, and like I said, I'm not fully pleased with it, but I do have pants, okay? I need to reshape them. I don't like the way they sit. I may have to put a zipper in them, um, but here is the pant, and it will be, you know, it's inside out right now, so it's got this, um, and then for the top, these. Um, I am going to make these narrow. So I wanted that um, look of a jumper. So I want it gathered. I want the pants to come down, and and I don't know how to do it yet because I'm not going off of a pattern, but I want it to be. With my body, I have a big tush, and no pants come up high enough over it and still meet the ground. I'm very disproportionate. So I want the bottoms to gather and snap shut, you know, um, almost like a bloused look. And then I have got, now let me see if I can show you here. I don't know if I've got it in frame or not. Nope, not even close. Okay, there we go. Alright, so then I've got this. And again, it's inside out. But this is the other material that I did. And it's got these butterflies on them. Okay, so because I want the pants to look like they're this, I did an inset type thing. And I'm going to seam it like so. Uh, then when I get done, my plan is to have the pants, have this seamed up with this edge. And then I want to be able to use this as kind of a crisscross and then put a tie on it. Um, it's not going to be a true wrap around because I want those sides to stay put, but it is going to have like a bow closure that makes it look like a wrap around. Um, then that wrap around will go over the edge of the pants, and I'm hoping that it makes it look like a jumper. Don't know. Working on it. Um, I like the look of a jumper, but I don't like having to take off my top to go to the bathroom. Just say, okay, that's what it is. So, uh, yeah, I am definitely going to attempt to make that into a jumper look. So, and I've got to figure out the pants. Like I said, I have a larger rump, and uh, I have always, my mom says I have a bubble butt. Yeah. Anyway, um, it makes pants very disproportionate on me. So when I buy them, um, when I make them, I'm, I figured out how to make the back taller, you know, this back part and, and, and a bigger seat. 
The one thing I haven't figured out how to do is drop down from the seat down without it being too forward or too backward. So I'm going to try, because I have to do it without cutting, um, I'm going to try and bring it in from both seams and see if that works. We'll see. Um, I'm also thinking I'm going to have to put a zipper in it. That's okay. I don't care. I'll put it aside. So, anyway. All right. And when I do put it inside, it will still look like a check. Just saying. Okay. On the personal note, I got to see, uh, we went to Hogs and Hot Rods on Saturday. It's a car show and thing, you know. And uh, we had a lot of fun. We just walked around, looked at old cars. It was just kind of a get out of the house thing. Um, then we went and coat a Coney Islander, which is a hot dog place, which is amazing. Um, it's always good. Okay. It's affordable too. So, um, so anyway, we did that. Then we got back here. And one of the things that roommate is doing to the house, um, which needs to be done, but honestly, I'm not really a part of it. Uh, it's not my money, not my, I mean, I'm going to benefit from it, but just because I live here, um, is roommate went and bought new fridge, new stove, and a deeper freezer, you know, like a deep chest freezer. Um, got them on sale. So, uh, when and and I did go with roommate when roommate went to look and we had talked about getting a freezer because it would cut the our food bill you know we could go in together and buy a half a cow or half a hog and so that's what the plan was was to go and see about getting a freezer at this amazing sale um, and we were going to get, me and roommate, we're going to get half of the steer and RJ was going to get half the steer. RJ was going to raise it. I was paying for the processing. Roommate was buying the freezer. So roommate and I get a half. He gets our half. Came out perfect, right? Well, when we went to Han Appliance to get one, because roommate wasn't sure how big one had to be to hold half the steer, um, we looked at a, a smaller one, and I said, it will hold it, and it might have a few things that have to go up in the other one in the back, because we have a smaller refrigerator in the back that, that holds a pop, water, and tea for the week. So we stocked that with just our pop, water, and tea. It's got a small freezer up above the top. And so that small freezer would hold any overflow from the small deep freezer. Anyway, so when we went, they were having this amazing sale. And roommate decided. And when we got back to the house, we actually looked. And so the fridge and the stove that are in this house, now, we don't consider them old. That's the funny part. Uh, one is from 1992, and that's the refrigerator. No, that's a stove. The stove is from 1992. The refrigerator is from 1994. Now, <laughs> we don't consider those old. It's not from the 70s, you know. But if you look back, they're over 20 years old. The fridge is right at 20 years old. It's 2000. Oh, no, it's 30 years old. Right? Because it's 94. Yeah, it's 30 years old. So we were laughing because they're older than RJ. And I was like, well, RJ's not old. That's why I don't think they're old. <laughs> but roommate went and... Um, because of the way the sale was set up, the more you spent, the bigger your discount. So roommate decided 
the stove, which, um, so this house is set up to be either gas or electric for the stove. We're going to go back to gas. That was totally a uh, roommate thing. Um, and then the fridge also. So we went in just for the fridge there so that we could, you know, mutually cut our uh, food bill in half and get better quality meat to say the least. And anyway, yeah. So those things come today. Roommate's mom is coming over because technically she's our landlord. She's coming over to let them in the garage so that we can get them in. But yeah, it is what it is. But this week has been busy, but packed. There is one thing, and I know y'all see me, you know, laying my hair. So I got bit by a beetle. And it happened Wednesday night of last week. I was sitting on the couch, me and roommate are just da -da 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 -da, um, watching TV, just normal evening, and something bit my face right here. Now I had been out and just let the dogs out. So a bug probably got uh, tangled in my hair is what I thought. Well, it turns out it's a beetle and it's a little black round. If you Google it, it says it's some kind of African something. It is not. Um, but anyway, I'm going to send the picture off to OSU and get them to identify it correctly. But it bit me Wednesday night. By Thursday, my whole jaw was swollen up. Um... By Thursday afternoon, I looked, you know how you get that uh, really red and you can push on it and it changes back to white, you know, white and then back to red for like sunburn. Yeah, I had that going all the way down my body. I had hives. By Friday morning, I woke up to um, half my face being swollen, like my eye was droopy. It looked like I had a bad Botox. That's what we were laughing because this was all too puffy and you couldn't see any of my wrinkles right here um, around my eye, my little crow's feet. I'm 50 years old, I got a few. These little lines right here, nothing. It was all swollen. Um, I did take off from work that day because I was itching everywhere. The highs had gotten to me. After, um, that was Friday, Saturday. Now keep in mind, I'm taking baking soda baths in this. Um, doing everything I can, I'm icing it, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, finally, Saturday, it started to, to subside, and I was not um, itching as much. And then by Sunday and Monday, everything had gone down. I The only thing I have is I have a knot right here and a little, I don't know, welt thing. I haven't itched it, but at least it doesn't hurt and my ear doesn't feel it my ear canal was swollen and so it always felt clogged up so I have this left but yeah it was not pretty and apparently beetles don't bite and they're not poisonous but if you're allergic to them apparently they that that can be serious so apparently I'm allergic so anyway that happened earlier this week, but all right, I'm going to get off of here. I think you're up to date. Um, I don't know. Did I tell you I went to see RJ Rodeo? Well, I don't think so. Um, I think I told you about the, the shopping on Memorial Day and that our stuff is coming. So this weekend, um, we went to Hogs and Hot Rods, which is like an antique car show and, and they've got vendors there and it's got old motorcycles and things that are souped up and, and the paint jobs are just amazing. I mean, it's just kind of fun to go and see all of them. Um, and then I've got something in my shoe. Sorry. Uh, and then that night we went to watch RJ Rope. He was up at the Owasso Roundup Club. My work provided me with free tickets. So we thought, what the heck? And that's where we went. So roommate and I took off and went and watched our day rope. Um, he missed, but hey, it was a chance to actually see him live. Um, I've been watching him on TV every time that he's on. But uh, yeah, I like to, I still 
love to see my kid rope. So, um, I guess it'd be like a baseball or football player mom goes from college on to pro. And yeah, I still like to watch him play. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. I'm off here. I got to get ready to go to work. I will talk to y'all later. Have a great week. And as always, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Bye.